Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to B and K Bees. It's windy. I hope that this, uh, you know, new audio setup will work enough for me to be able to publish these videos. So I'm sorry for any wind noise or any difficulty to hearing me. I still have not harvested honey a single time yet this year. Um, and to be honest, it's just sort of because I'm getting used to the way these Upper Peninsula years are going. And we have had some really iffy weather, some uh, back and forth kind of rainy cold stuff happening over the course of the last couple of weeks. So rather than doing an interim pull, I had decided that I was just going to wait until now, until mid-August to pull all of our honey. So I had planned on starting the pull today and then last night I got a call from the landowner here at this yard with a picture of of that. Now, I'd love to say it was wind, but I don't see how a uh, wind could knock over one three tall colony when we have four talls sitting all throughout this yard. So seems like the easiest to push over would be the four talls with the heavy boxes on top. Um, so I'm thinking this is a this is a bear testing this yard out. Now, the good I, the the good aspect of what's going on right here is that looks like a good box of bees, you know. So I'm excited about that. Um, but I'm not excited about the fact that the summer is kind of waning and uh, these bears are becoming becoming more and more of a problem. They are going to continue to become more and more of a problem. Katie and I, when we were driving up toward Copper Harbor the other day uh, for a trip just up to enjoy Lake Superior, we had to slow down for a bear running across the road. So they are out, they're moving, they are finding less and less food as their berries and all of their natural forage stuff are, is drying up. So they're becoming more a pest. Ugh. So yeah, I should be here pulling honey today. Uh, I'm probably only gonna be fixing this though. Okay, so I said I was, I'm probably only gonna do what I just did today because of the fact that I, like an idiot, didn't bring everything out that I need. Um, I don't have the blower and I don't have lids to set these honey boxes on and under. Um, so if I were to just start stacking honey boxes on that trailer, uh, I just create a robbing situation before I got done. And that is not what I want to do. So this yard, and I've said this before, this yard is 45 minutes from my house. Um, and I did not realize this stuff until I got out here. So, and the funny aspect is I forgot my wallet too. So I drove about 10 minutes away from my house, realized they didn't have my wallet, turned around, went back and grabbed it and then left and came all the way here before realizing that not only did I not have my wallet, I didn't have these lids that I needed to keep the bees out of the supers, and I didn't have the blower to finish getting the last of the bees out. So I don't have the ability to pull honey here today, uh, which means that this weekend is going to be a rush. Um, I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to get everything pulled and everything treated. So, ah, this is not how I wanted it to go. Um, and I certainly didn't want to have any bear stuff happening Ugh. so in uh response to that bear stuff the one thing that i do plan on doing let's see if these bees will let me just hang out without my veil on mm -hmm. 
They gonna be cool? Maybe. Um. So. As far as the, as far as the bear stuff goes, uh, one thing that I'm gonna do is add another strand to all of my bear fences, because as you see. There's only three strands on this, which is more than we were doing in the Lower Peninsula with success. But there's a, a big gap where, where a bear could fit through. And especially, you know, if it didn't touch it with his face or his paw, um, you know, his fur is going to be the stuff that's touching the wires. And so I really have to make it more difficult for him to get through um, without touching his face or his paw to the wires so i'm going to be adding another strand that'll be early next week uh, after all of this pull and then it'll be a lot of feeding but yeah i should be out here pulling honey today i will pop a couple tops just to see how everything's looking earwigs less than full honey box Less than full again, that's not great. I expected these things to be foolish. That looks like a good honey box. Boy, these bees are not, not happy. There's another jam pack box. Probably gonna be enough. Let's see if they don't freak out. I don't have my smoker lit. I don't really feel like getting stung up. Yeah. Just as I say, I don't want to get stung up.
All right. Lots of funny. Lots of bees that would rather me leave them alone. A cool spider. fast all right i think that's gonna be it for me here today like i said i am an idiot i didn't bring out all my supplies uh, so i'm sorry it's not that great of a video just flipped the colony back up right now i've got more work to do when i get back to the house so i'm not gonna waste a whole day by being in the truck all day i'm just gonna get back to the house and continue on a project that i'm working on that i will be uh letting you guys know about here hopefully really really soon so yeah i'm gonna get back to the house and get back to work i will be back out here tomorrow with all of the proper equipment so if you're interested in those videos click subscribe so you get notified but otherwise thank you very much for watching get out there and have some fun with your bees see ya <laughs>